It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so, world of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready? Alright, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the guy. The one two punch is true. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just missed with the left there. Big punch land. Ooh. Liver kick. And they separate. Oh, just misses with the kick. Big knee there to the chest. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. He loaded up there with that high kick. 
kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Straight right hand now just misses. Big fall punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Place kick there by Lee. Oh, massive kick! Everything behind it. Oh, straight right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice body kick. Good stick. in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Round two here. Nice one, two there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing 
that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Oh. oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there, and Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt back. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lou. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. That lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Trying to stay in this fight! Right hand punch from the clinch. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Right on the button. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Whoa, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be receiving in of those types of strikes. Goes back to that left kick once again. What a fight so far. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight. 
but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Ready? Ready? Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big kick land. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Lee gets back up. No surprise there. Just this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent on his own low. And now he's out of it very badly. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Big kick land. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely, the opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Should look like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh! Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Big punch man doing the top. How's he gonna follow this one? strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and forged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud.